Oh. Okay. Uh, DC news of the week. Again, not a ton, uh, but we do have some uh, some stuff from James Gunn. Stuff for the comics. Uh, it seems there will be a new Gotham City villain who will be copying the Hush persona in the pages of Joshua Williams and Simone DiMeo's Batman and Robin. Uh, the That's cover cool. of this October's Batman and Robin two has revealed the new Gotham City villain will be debuting, called named Shush. <laughs> Oh my god. Instead of Hush, it's Shush. Apparently she's inspired by Thomas Elliot, a.k.a. Hush. Uh, the 12-issue storyline, Batman Hush storyline, is a favorite, so it will be interesting to learn more backstory for Hush. Williamson and DeMeo are actually relaunching Batman and Robin title in September. The new Shush is said to be the successor of Hush. Oh my god. Who... Did they not talk to these people about coming up with villain villain names? They could have... Probably not. Shush. So perhaps this is Elliot's daughter. Um... Williamson is also writing DC Comics Superman and Green Arrow. Uh, I've enjoyed the Superman one. Uh, the Green Arrow one, I read one issue and gave up. Uh, title so he's definitely one of the publisher's busiest creators. Batman and Robin relaunch is but one of several new and relaunched books that make the publisher's Dawn of DC initiative. This is a year-long, uh, this is a year-long branding initiative that picks up where Dark Crisis left off and explores the changed DC universe. Where the pre-crisis infinite multiverse has returned and the Justice League has disbanded, leaving the ta- the Titans Dawn, Titans of Prime Earth, as the universe's preeminent superhero team. In addition to battling this new villain, it seems that Damien will also be dealing with his first day of school. Do you think Bruce Wayne sends his son to public school or private? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, this well, is just, this is rip, weird. riveting. It's weird. Yeah, okay. it's, it's weird to me. <laughs> Well, Damien, anyway, uh, will Damien be bullied at school? Oh no! Okay, so I think um, I mean it looks cool. I yeah. like the concept of the character; it looks cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I will reserve the judgment. There. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Judgment. James Gunn is talking about DC Animated. Uh, following confusion about whether next year's Crisis on Infinite Earths and Watchmen animated movies are now tied are tied to the new DCU. DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn has shared a big update. Warner Brothers Discovery Animation recently revealed that 2024 will see the release of Crisis on Infinite Earths and Watchmen. The former was branded a DC Universe feature, and those unfamiliar with these direct to DVD titles, you really want to call it DVD anymore, isn't it? Like, I know they make it DVDs, but they yeah. never changed to direct to Blu-ray titles. Um, and the Tomorrowverse, or direct to digital, and then, the, I don't know. Uh, and the Tomorrowverse uh, assumed that it was meant, to, the Tomorrowverse assumed that meant it was tied to DC Studios' DCU. A proper multiverse movie which sets the stage for the upcoming reboot would likely be welcomed after The Flash failed to deliver. However, Gunn has now confirmed that what most of us have already realized by confirming these adaptations aren't connected to the new DCU. It's unclear whether the popular Tomorrowverse movies will continue once DC Studios is fully up and running, something which has many concerned, which has concerned many fans and the uh, voice mm-hmm. actors who make a living from the projects like these. Uh, yes. This is, however, always a chance to. There is, however, always a chance they'll continue on whatever else worlds, branding James Gunn and Peter Safran have planned for stories not set in the rebooted continuity. Continuity, the Batman Two, for example, has, but Gunn has shed new light on his own animation plans. Um. So you can check out the thing below. He admits they messed up. Uh, oh. Corrected it. Can we expect a theatrical animated projects for the universe in the future or nah? James Gunn says yes. So we will get some theatrical animated uh, movies. I think that's pretty fun. cool. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I can't see them doing it for a lot. I feel like they're going to try to test the waters with like one and then see how it goes. But I definitely feel like it's a pretty cool situation to have because they know that the, the movies aren't going to make a lot of money. Like, the animated movies aren't going to make a lot of money. Um, I mean, I really do feel like, you know, Spider-Verse and shit like that is kind of like a, um, like a unicorn. Yeah. yeah, in the terms of, you know, making money. So, you know, you know, can, you, can they make, you know, an animated movie for... Well, you know, like TMNT, the new one, Mayhem, cost seventy million to make. So, right. can they make a animated movie for seventy five million and then release it and make one hundred fifty? Like, you know, make it half half of it back. It's very possible. Um, and if they stick to a proper, you know, um, see, I don't, I don't, I don't know for D- if DC can. 
So the difference between Sony doing with Spider-Man is those movies are geared towards kids. Yeah. DC yeah. is supposed to be like the dark adult version of comic books where they tried to be more serious and have a grittier tone. Yeah. Um, can James Gunn, like what character, like you had Lego Batman, sure, but that wasn't really DC. That was Warner Brothers. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they'd have to go back to that kind of style of, I mean, it wouldn't be Lego Batman, but um, could they do, do their own Spider-Man Sony verse? animated thing i don't i, don't I know. mean it's definitely possible like they got fucking he's got a bajillion characters i feel like james gunn who, is just kind of sitting over kids, the pot other than like batman i mean you'd have to do a you'd have to it'd have to be batman you couldn't do i don't think you could do a b character dc dc animated movie and put it in theaters you'd have to do one of the top three batman superman wonder woman like yeah because yep. you know spider-man's top tier and one of the favorites for kids is spider-man so mm-hmm. and it was always it's strange tough. to me that marvel stopped doing animated because they had a couple of justice league or Ju- justice league they had a couple of avengers animated movies that went to dvd mm-hmm. i remember You're the f- right first one being better than the second one but they just mm-hmm. kind of dropped it after that they could have done x-men they could well no they didn't have the rights to that but they could have right. done more animated show or animated oh they movies. definitely could have uh i um i haven't watched um a fair amount of dc uh animated movies in the last like two years hmm. but before that all the ones that i watched minus like one or two yeah and there was a lot of them because they made a lot yeah uh were good yeah they were all very good like better than average, better than most of the movies they were releasing, live action movies releasing. So, like I said, possibility is there. I feel like it's it has some some gusto. It's got some legs. <laughs> uh, last bit of news is that Wonder Woman three is in development. No, it's not. With Gal Gadot. No. Uh, she confirmed it. She's a fucking liar. Oh, oh, really? Oh yeah, there's no. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like Gal Gadot will be staying on as Diana in the new DCU, as Wonder Woman 3 is reportedly still being developed by DC Studios. The actress was all set to reprise the role of Diana for the th- third film with Patty Jenkins back at the helm, but we have been led to believe that the movie was shelved when James Gunn and Peter Saffron took over as co-heads of the recently implemented DC Studios. However, while speaking to comicbook.com about her new Netflix action movie Heart of Stone, Gadot appeared to confirm that she will return as the iconic Amazon- Amazonian hero, the DCU. Uh, quote, I love portraying Wonder Woman. It's so close and dear to my heart. From what I heard from James and from Peter is that we're going to develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. Oh, so they haven't started yet. <laughs> uh, as worth noting that Gunn never actually stated that Godot was done as Diana, but Godot did indicate that she was ready to move on from that role. In a re- oh, I'm so confused right now. So she mm-hmm. loves it and wants to continue it, but then sh- like a month ago, she's... Are we talking... Is this like a negotiating tactic tac- tac- for money? Uh, to me, starting and developing stories that I'm passionate about is an incredible thing. The fact that I don't have to sit still at home and just wait for the next offer is something that makes me feel empowered. I enjoy doing it. It keeps me alive. But I'm uh, I'm not only going to do my own projects. I'm going to do I'm going to work as an actress for hire still. But the fact that I can go ahead and tell the stories that I'm passionate about from ideas that I conceived or from ideas that I find fascinating from people that want to partner with us, it's an incredible thing. Uh, as far as we know, there are no current plans for one of them in the first chapter of the DCU slate, Gods and Monsters, but a Max TV series titled Paradise Lost is in development. We'll focus on a Game of Thrones type story about Themyscira. Yeah. I don't, I don't think this confirms really anything. No, it doesn't. Get <laughs> no, it out of here. Mark I'm not, Cassidy. Saying, I'm not saying I agree with you that she's lying. I think maybe there's some miscommunication about... I feel like there's been talks... I feel like they've sat down for two seconds on Zoom and they were like, hey, we're still trying. <laughs> and they're like, okay. And they're like, we can't promise anything, but we're doing our best. And they're like, okay. Can we try to do anything on our end? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. And that's it. The classic Hollywood blow off. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's DC News of the Week.